Hello, mortals. I'm Scott Thompson, and welcome to my fabulous gay wedding, the show where in just two weeks, I, with the help of my minions, give one lucky gay couple their dream wedding. And if I don't, I lose my wings. And here they are, Rob the marketing mogul and Greg the sales exec. They've got a little dog, a big mortgage, and a ton of love. The only thing left to do now is get hitched. I think a lot of people, when they get married, they say that, you know, till death do us part. I think Greg and I promised each other that a long time ago without even having to say it. My parents have been together 35 years almost now, um, and I want that that same same thing. My assignment from the head fairy was to surprise the boys with a fabulous wedding in a mere two weeks or lose my wings. I've been told that Rob and Greg have Scottish roots, as do I, so I thought I'd make an appropriate entrance. Come along, lads and lassies. We were told that after midnight tonight, expect anything. I crept up the back steps with caution just before dawn's early light. I kind of had this fear that, you know, maybe, you know, you'd show up with a couple drag queens and like five go-go boys. I was in bed. And then I kind of saw a shadow in the doorway by the bed. Then the bagpipes. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> First of all, I was thinking, oh my God, they did it. They woke us up in my sleep and I don't have my hair done and I'm in this old shirt. Good morning, Rob and Greg. <laughs> Good, Good morning, morning. Mr. Thompson. <laughs> Normally, you don't always wake up to a celebrity on your back, fire escape, in bagpipes and a Greg, kilt. Greg, Rob. Normally, we kick the guy out long before the sun comes up. Oh, it would be very safe to say that we're both in a state of shock today, yes. Yes, thank you. What, do you know what you want to wear? No. No? At the wedding? Do you have any idea? Um, tux maybe? Yeah. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> I met Greg at a nightclub and we were immediately attracted to each other and hit it off and we kind of just danced until late into the morning and neither of us were tired and he came back to my place just to hang out and he never left. Uh, we have to decide who's going to be the bride and who's going to be the groom. The, the wedding's always about the bride. So who, who, who among the two of you? Him. This is more important Him. too. Because the bride gets everything. Oh, me. Yeah. Okay. Like, then the special okay. Gifts? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be the bride. More of the gifts. More of the gifts. More of the attention. I don't know what that mystery ingredient is that makes you love somebody, but when I met him, we fell in love and have been happy ever since. I have a confession. I don't know anything about weddings. In fact, none of my marriages has lasted till brunch. So I hired some pros to make me look good. Fern Cohen is the top marriage maven in town, and her gay blade sidekick Gregory White knows everything about parties. They asked me to snoop around Rob and Greg's for some dirt. You gonna help me? I need some uh, information from you. Any secrets? Where should I look? Tell me where I should look. What? Oh. Oh, oh sh Oh, f What's this? Shepherd's pie. Shepherd's pie just about broke my foot. The McKinnises. Okay, I'm glad. Oh, look at what they're tartan. Those must be their aunties. Oh, they like their families. I wonder if they have big fa come from big families. I need some gum. Well, here we go. 
Okay, partying. Lots of partying. Shirts off, shirts off. That looks like that's Greg naked. They're naked in every picture. Max, what the hell is this? Club music. These boys like to party. These are normal gay men who like to party and like their families. Max, do you know those two can go together? Hi, Scott. Hi, it's me. So what's up? Well, they seem to be pretty normal gay guys of that age. They love to go out dancing, and they never seem to be wearing shirts. No shirts. So we're going to have a shirtless wedding. And you know what else? Lots of family stuff around. Lots of pictures of their um, parents and brothers and sisters and aunts. They seem like family guys. Yep. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay. I found a lot of uh, Scottish food, like meat pies in the fridge. I've never had one of those. You never had a Scotch? No, I don't eat pork. <laughs> I guess not. My name is Fern Cohen. I love pork. You look like a pork lover, Scott. Here's what we have. Lots of naked men, lots of meat pies, lots of Scottish music, lots of like dancing, lots of that, lots of fun. All right, so I'm gonna relay that to my team. I'll let them know and we'll go from there. For gay men, it's normal to have an abnormal relationship with their body image. That's why I decided to take them to the gym to administer my highly scientific compatibility test. Okay, I want you both to get into these. And that's it. That's no it. No shirts, no socks, no shoes. And being the middle of winter, I um, hadn't been dieting lately. <laughs> be in the boxing ring topless in like shorts that we didn't even pick out. Mm -hmm. We're going to take this book which is yeah. the Bible of gay men's relationships. I'm gonna ask you questions. Now okay. here's the and you fill in the blanks. Oops. Greg, I was really annoyed when. Greg, I was really annoyed when you took all my clothes hangers for your clothes and left <laughs> all mine on the floor. Rob can drive me very crazy at times. I mean I love him through all of it. Rob, I'm suspicious when? I don't know, I could be suspicious a lot. <laughs> I really didn't know how to love. And I think that Greg really showed me what, like how to express, you know, my love. <laughs> I regret we didn't. <laughs> I regret, I regret we didn't ever have the chance for you to meet my dad. Aww. I think my dad dying made me realize how you know, important, my family is so important to me and I realized after that how important it was for me to bring Greg into my family. Uh, Rob, I feel such pride in your enthusiasm and energy and <laughs> drive. And... Rob, it hurt me when? Rob, it hurt me when you um, cheated on me. <gasps> we both have strong personalities, so there was a, there were some fights in the beginning. There <laughs> were some outrageous fights in the beginning. Greg, I'm deeply sorry that... You just apologize for the cheat. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I we, we've really solved that, and now it's only about, you know, discovering life together. I think we're gonna call a halt to this. So, gentlemen, put your gloves together. I have decided from the psychological profiling that we've done here today, the two of you are very compatible, and I'm going to let you two get married. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, you that means a lot. Kiss each other. <laughs> 12 days to go. Now, what's a wedding without a wedding party? Which brings us to Hope. Hope came from out west with Rob by Greyhound 10 years ago and has been his best buddy ever since. Remember in college when you thought you were going to get the part of the witch and into the woods? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I've never seen Rob happier, like, he's just, it's just so true, like, true love. Then there's Billy, a Toronto radio personality who remembers the good old times with Rob and Greg. We used to go clubbing a ton, but now since they've settled down and been all engaged and we're getting married and got to save for our house kind of thing, we are basically doing the whole, you know, get together with the dogs, take them to the park. Billy has Michael Jackson on this morning. This morning, Rob, Greg, and Billy were up to a little mischief at Hope's expense. Greg is currently downtown, and uh, something cool I'm involved in. My good friends, Rob and Greg, are getting married in a week and a half, and their wedding <laughs> is going to be part of a TV show called My Fabulous Gay Wedding. 
hosted by Scott Thompson. <laughs> so this is really neat. They've asked me to be the maid of honor, and it's going to be a great day. There's also someone else in their wedding party, and she's having breakfast with the guys right now. <laughs> doesn't know it, but Hope, will you be in the wedding party too? <laughs> so that's going to be a really neat adventure. So if you're a gay or lesbian couple who um, are ready to tie the knot and want to have a pile of fun with Scott Thompson, it's very cool, all the stuff these guys get. Honeymoon, wedding bands, it's going to be really, really neat. <laughs> Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. <laughs> oh my god, I cry. At her fashionable headquarters, Fern assembled a crack team of marriage minions to do my bidding, each with their own area of expertise and singular style. Planning a fabulous wedding. Cheers to Robin Gray. Here's two main points about these guys. Family, family, family. We want our mothers to give us away. And lots of pictures around the house with them with their shirts off. Oh, oh. Nice. oh. party boys! <laughs> party be a real party. Boys. Well, let's let's talk about this party boy thing. It's definitely about being stylish and fabulous and putting on a show. It's about muscles. It's about when you're at a bar or you're at a circuit party, uh, no shirts. Mm -hmm. You wanna you wanna show off your beauty. It's about mm -hmm. impressing others, really. I would like to wear a pink dress, lace. Um, little crochet at the top and a really long veil. No, we want to wear tuxes. <laughs> I see these guys in traditional Scottish kilts. Do you think these two guys are up to that? <laughs> well, I don't know. That's the problem. Well, I'm hoping. But I know Scott. Is. We want Mac Daddy and Lola to be our ring bearers. They are Billy's dogs. We've known both of them since they were little puppies. I did a wedding where the bride walked down the aisle with her dog. Her dog gave her away at the altar. It really? was it was beautiful. Oh. It's it, no, that can't be beautiful. <laughs> Honestly, Barbara, did, you've lost me. Did she have a baggie in the back pocket <laughs> of her wedding dress? <laughs> I would be impressed if we could actually do a sit-down type of dinner as opposed to like hors d'oeuvres. So take your, if I said the Sunday night dinner, the little Yorkshire puddings with roast beef and everything and gravy. Take that and make those into little hors d'oeuvres. So take dinner and make it into a cocktail party. We'd like more kind of upbeat, um, fun music, top four. <laughs> We should there? get Ashley McIsaac, you know, down home fiddle music, yes. which right. is very much about family and gatherings of friends. We should have dancers with Ashley McIsaac. Right. Shirtless, <laughs> like dancers stomping around, because that's what Ashley is. It is sexy. It's sexy, but how do we get Ashley McIsaac? Now, now, minions, don't lose faith. We'll get him. After all, I am the wedding fairy. But do you realize how far off you are? Cocktails for guys who want to sit down dinner? Kilts when they want tuxedos? Half naked men dancing around while mum gives away her son? And a sexy gay fiddler instead of top 40? Well, you're the experts. Rob hates not being in control. Um, he, now, he's going to hate me for saying that because he doesn't like to admit that he doesn't like being in control. But, oh God. Oh no. I'm worried that Scott's gonna put me in a dress or try to put me in a dress or I don't know. I just, I'm a little worried. I don't want it to be like over the top and I want people to know that we're very serious about it and you know, we mean business and that we're truly in love and you know, we aren't just doing this for the gifts. Greg's clan is from a ways away, Nova Scotia and Rob's people are from way out west, Alberta. That night they burned up the phone lines to all their kinfolk. Will they approve? Will they attend? Hello. Hello, Mom. Hey. Hey. It's Robert. Hello. Hello, Andrea? Yep. I got some news for you. Me and Rob are getting married. We're gonna get married. 